So you can actually discover a lot about a person through their eyes. In this video, we're going to talk about seven things the eyes will tell you about the blood sugars. All right, let's start off with number one, puffy eyelids. You've seen this before where someone had this fluid retention or edema around the eyes. It's purely a blood sugar problem. Fluid follows sugar. So if you have too much sugar in the body, it's going to be retained in the tissues, definitely the eyes and the ankles. All right, number two, glaucoma. Glaucoma is a problem where there's too much pressure in the eye. It's called increased interocular pressure. Now, normally there's a membrane that allows the fluid to go in and out of the eye. What happens is when your sugar is high, you get something called glycation, which are sticky proteins that plug up that mesh membrane. So the fluid and pressure starts backing up and that pressure creates a lot of damage in the inside of the eye, but also um, the body will sense that there's it's called hypoxia or decreased oxygen. And that triggers a certain protein, which then causes your body to make new blood vessels. It's called neovascularization, but not the normal type, the abnormal type where there's uh, dilated blood vessels. There'll be a buildup of veins. And then they have to do all sorts of things to try to remove that. There's a laser procedure that destroys these abnormal blood vessels, but it all comes from high levels of sugar that then depletes the oxygen reserve. Then we have something called cataracts, okay? Now, cataracts happen when you have the lens of the eye, which normally should be transparent, starts turning opaque. And the reason for that is the high levels of sugar that causes the proteins to get misfolded, okay? So you can imagine these proteins in the eye start becoming like this, and they kind of get stuck in there. And then what happens is that when they accumulate, uh, they become opaque. Now, I've done other videos talking about a vitamin B1 deficiency uh, involved in cataracts. But really, the high sugar that someone consumes depletes vitamin B1. But ultimately, the solution for cataracts is to keep your blood sugars within normal range. But there are a couple things you can do to kind of minimize the damage and even protect the lens from getting cataracts. B1 would be one, and also something called carnosine, which by the way, is in red meat, okay? So this is a really good remedy. All right, number four, retinopathy. What does that mean? Well, it's a disease of the retina. The retina is the extension of the brain, and it's, uh, you have your brain tissue that's sticking out into the eye, and it's exposed to um, the environment. So the information comes into the eye, goes into the brain. But if there's high sugars in the blood, because there's high sugars in the diet, that oxidizes and destroys the blood vessels that surround the nerve. If the nerve can't get oxygen or nutrition, it dies. And retinopathy is the leading cause of blindness in diabetics. Now, one of the best remedies that I recommend for diabetics is called benthotamine, okay? That's a fat-soluble B1 which is really good to help minimize the complications and the side effects of, or the damage from high sugar. Of course, you really need to fix your diet first for it to really work, but if you did both, that would be very beneficial because this has the capacity to act as an antioxidant, to protect against oxidation, also to repair some of the nerve damage. So it's a really good um, supplement, and you would take four of these throughout the day not only for retinopathy, but for peripheral neuropathy on your fingertips or your toes. All right, next one, macular degeneration. The macula is the back part of the eye which things get focused on. It surrounds the retina. And maybe you've heard of lutein is good to prevent macular degeneration. Well, this is a carotenoid from vegetables. And yes, it does help prevent macular degeneration from aging and also diabetes but it's not gonna work unless you first fix your diet and you get your blood sugars normalized. It just would be expensive urine, okay? Because it's gonna go right through you. All right, next one, red irritated eyes. I used to have this really bad. This occurs because of the amount of inflammation that occurs from having high sugar and also the damage around the blood vessels around the eye. If you take a look at the inside of the eyelid, either in someone that's a pre-diabetic or a diabetic or someone that has really bad insulin resistance, it usually is always red and swollen and irritated. 
and it feels like there's sand in the eye. Again, the thing to do is to fix the blood sugars. Okay, next one, dry eyes. Usually that's a vitamin A deficiency, but guess what? Vitamin A doesn't work in the body unless you have enough zinc. And high levels of sugar in the diet deplete your zinc reserves, causing a failure of vitamin A. It could be other things as well, but there's definitely a connection between zinc and dry eyes. So as you can see, fixing the blood sugars are crucial if you want to protect your eyes. For those of you that are new to my channel, I put a link down below of exactly what is going to help you. It's healthy keto and intermittent fasting. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.